morning y'all and welcome back to apron strings well today i'm going to start on some christmas goodies my grandson that uh, lives close richard the one that killed the deer every time he says nana have you made checks mix yet have you made checks mix yet so i got all my ingredients and i'm going to make uh, some checks mix today and that's going to kick off my christmas goodies so i will i have kind of revised my I got this card probably 50 years ago. They used to give cards away like at the grocery store. Uh, and this is for Chex Mix. But I, you can see my little notes if you get close where I've changed it and added and made it the way we like it. So I'm going to get all my ingredients together and we'll measure out the cereal and the crackers and the pretzels and pecans and we'll get the Chex Mix in the oven. So come on over to the butcher block. And We'll get busy. Okay, y'all, what I gotta do first is get my butter melted and I'll just put it in the microwave. So this is a pound of butter. I'm gonna make a big thing of Chex Mix. So it is fattening, but you have to have something to soak all the flavors in. Get the butter all peeled and in here, and then when it melts, we'll put all of our seasoning in. Calls for cayenne, and I don't have, can't find my ground up cayenne, but it also calls for red pepper flakes, so I'm just going to put some extra red pepper flakes in it because I don't know what happened. I guess I've used it all. Okay, I've got my pound of butter. I'm going to put it in the microwave and let it melt. And then we will uh, put everything else in it and measure out all of our cereal and goodies. Toss this and get it in the oven. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna need two tablespoons of uh, garlic powder. And I'll kind of heap them up. four tablespoons of onion powder, and I don't even know if I've got that much in here or not. One, two, almost three, four. Okay. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And it calls for two teaspoons of salt. And um, all I have is the pink Himalayan. So I'm going to use um, adobe seasoning because it's very salty and it'll add a little extra flavor to it. Well, Get that to snap back on there. And if I don't snap it on there, when I go to put it in something, I'll get a cup instead of a dash. <clears throat> that red pepper that I've been doing in that mortar and pestle is pretty strong. Okay, I've got my dry ingredients. Let me put my pepper flakes. And I need two tablespoons of pepper flakes. And I put these in the mortar and pestle to try to grind them a little bit because I didn't have any cayenne, but it didn't help much. So let me just go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit extra because I didn't have any cayenne to put in it. They like it spicy. 
and I need a tablespoon of Tabasco, which is just your hot pepper sauce. I think everybody's pretty well familiar with Tabasco, maybe. I didn't want to pop that little plastic thing off and get that under my fingernail and get it in my eye directly. So y'all have to wait while I shake it in there. Now, the wonderful ingredient is Worcestershire sauce. And I have some homemade Worcestershire that my friend Susan sent me. And I don't use it except for special stuff, but I think our Christmas Chex Mix qualifies. So I need three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to lick that spoon in a minute. This stuff is yummy. She could open her own store with her good stuff. Let me get me something to dip in here and make sure I've got my flavors right. Okay, let me get this cleared off and then we'll measure our cereal and all that out. Get it in the pan and get it in the oven. Okay, now what we like best is the rice checks. So I've got one um, small box or eight cups of rice checks in here and I put four cups of uh, corn checks. Now, I may add some more in a minute. I'm going to put a four cups of these cheese it crackers. And I'm going to use pretzels, and I like the little, um, I don't like the sticks as well as I do the little shaped ones. So I'm going to put about two or four cups of them in there. Probably more like two cups of pretzels. Three cups of pecans. And let me stir it and see how full my pan is. This is one of those throwaway roaster pans. And I just pretty well fill it up because I can't really stir it anymore. Let's see. I can add some more of my corn chips. That's probably another two cups, because it looks like there's about two cups left in the bag. I'm going to add another cup of the cheese crackers. And a few more pretzels. I'm the one that likes pretzels. The rest of the bunch don't like pretzels very well. And I'll probably add another cup of pecans. And I'll write all that down. Give y'all a guess for it. what you do, you put this in the oven on 225 to 250, and every 15 minutes you have to get it out and toss it until everything is dry and toasted like you want it. Now I usually test the pecans because I like for them to be toasted right. So here we go. And you have to work because this, with all the seasoning in it, that don't really dissolve well. 
it wants to just clump up and stick together. So you have to get in there with your hands, taking them off. And that butter had cooled enough that I can do it. And I just put my hands in there until I feel like everything's got some on it. And toss it. Well, the recipe jumped overboard, but I know how to do that with that cookie Another thing, because the butter had cooled a little bit, when you toss it the next time, that butter that was thicker is melted and it'll coat some more stuff maybe that's not coated. But all of a sudden, in the middle of my business, the camera wrote a flag up that my memory card was full. So I had to go over there and see where it stopped. And I was a stirring when it stopped, so I didn't lose anything major. After that last fiasco, I'm trying to be careful. But see, my butter is pretty solid now. So I'm going to get this in the oven, and I'll bring it out about 15 minutes and stir it some more. You have to be careful when you're stirring. You reach down under there, or you'll have a bunch of broken checks mix in here, and it won't be the checks pieces because they break easy. Okay, I'm get this in the in the oven and of course I'm using my regular oven. Wouldn't fit in the June. And uh, I'll be back off and on and show y'all what it looks like. And then we're gonna have a snack after a while. I knew something was missing. I didn't put my Cheerios in. So I've added four cups of them. And I'll see what I can do. They, they hop over to the real easy little round things. So I put four cups of Cheerios in. Stir, stir, stir. You've heard that saying, you don't go stir crazy? Well, I feel like that before this is all over. Because it takes a while to get it all done. Let me get the butter off my hands and get it back in the oven, and I'll be back after a while to show y'all something good. I've already got it out and stirred it one time, but I'm gonna, it's time to stir it again. And I can see that my pecans on the top are toasting some. Let me. Stir it. And you can cut this in half, but I'm going to tell you, this will be gone and I'll have to make another batch. So, to me, it's just easier to make a big old batch to start with. Some people buy the bags of Chex Mix and then go ahead and add all the extra flavor for that. But I like to make my own. In the long run, this is probably the most economical. All right, get it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. And you know it's done when you taste of it. And uh, it's crisp. It's not kind of soggy where the butter and stuff's been poured over it. The oven fries all of that out. It's just a yummy snack. Be back in about 20 or 40 minutes. I'll show y'all again directly. Okay, y'all, this is my third time, 20 minutes, to take it out. And you can see the pecans are starting to toast. So this probably will do 80 minutes stirring it off and on. I think that's going to be just about right. So let me stir it. Get it back in the oven one more time, and then we'll taste it and see how where we're at. Okay, y'all, the Chex Mix is ready, and I text little Richard a picture of it, and I got a yay, because that's what he's been wanting. Let me show y'all. You can see the pecans are brown. Some of the Chex is brown, and it's crunchy, and it's spicy, and it's good. So, of course, when you make yours, you can adjust your pepper 
flakes and your cayenne, if you put the ground up cayenne in it, make it more spicy or less spicy. Now I have another Chex Mix that my daughter worked with a pharmacist at Walgreens and his wife would make this mixture and he would bring it and share with them. And so we just call it Galen's Chex Mix. Um, I don't know what its name is, but it's a sweet Chex Mix. And it's made, it has Crispix cereal in it. <clears throat> and we just love it. And last year, what I had left, I put in Ziploc bags in the freezer. Months later, when I pulled it out and let it get to room temp, it was just like I had just made it. So I'm, I know that I'll probably have some left over because it makes a bunch. But I'm planning on making that one maybe next, but before Christmas in time for y'all to uh, make you some. And you'll want to have you some rice checks, and I think it calls for corn checks and Crispix cereal. C-R-I-S-P-I-X, something like that. You need a box of that. And sometimes this time of the year it's hard to find. It has pecans in it. But that's a good mix that's sweet. I actually like to get a bite of it and a bite of this. That way you got your sweet and your hot spicy together. But I've been a nibbling. These are very crunchy, which means they dried good. And you need some tea or something to go with it because it's spicy, but I like it like that. Now, one of my viewers that I'm so thankful sent me, I got red pepper down my throat just a minute. One of my viewers, and I'm not going to call her name, she knows who she is, sent me a $50 Walmart card for Christmas and told me to buy some groceries for apron strings. She, you just don't know what that means. I appreciate it so very much, and I will do just that. Then I got a beautiful handmade card from Leslie. They bought, I say they, the first time they ordered an apron, her husband was going to surprise her, and then he let her choose fabric. And they've ordered two aprons from me, and she sent me a gorgeous handmade Christmas card. And uh, after I think the first apron I showed y'all, she painted a cheese box red with put a big rooster on the top. Just been so sweet to me, and I'm so appreciative. Thank you so very much. I hope y'all are getting you some goodies made and planning on some. Now, you know, it's still a ways till Christmas. And I'm, my kids won't all be here until Christmas. Troy, Wayne, and them are coming in, you know, right at the Christmas weekend. So I'm going to wait till about a week before Christmas to make most of my cookies because I don't want them to dry out. And uh, so y'all will be getting some videos for them, but it's going to be closer to Christmas. But it only takes a couple hours to make a big batch of cookies. So you can watch the video and grab your stuff and make you some goodies. But in between, I'm be making a few things along. So get you some goodies made. And one lady requested divinity. I have a great divinity recipe, and the weather has to be pretty to make it. And even with pretty weather, every now and then mine doesn't turn out. But you know what? I'm just gonna be real. I'm gonna make it. If it turns out good, that's good. And if it turns out not so good, I'll let you know. Now my biggest problem is. Once in a while, I'll beat it too long after I get all the hot syrup into the egg whites, and it makes it sugary. You have to get it just right to have that right texture on your divinity. So I'm going to try to watch it and do it right, but I do plan to make some divinity. And I got a new recipe that I want to try, and it's Nutter Butter uh, Cake Balls made with Nutter Butter cookies. So when I go to town, I'm getting me a package of Nutter Butters and we'll be making those pretty soon. Cause I got a feeling I'll have to make two batches of them. I love Nutter Butter cookies. I have another recipe new to me and it's peanut butter oatmeal cookies with white chocolate chips in them. That sounds like Subway sandwich shop to me, but I'm gonna make them and we're going to see if we like those too. So that's a few things that's going to be coming up. And uh, I'm working four days next week and then school's out starting Friday for Christmas. And I'll start churning out some Christmas goodies. But y'all have some coming up this week too. The good Lord bless and keep you. Don't forget the reason for the season. It's not Santa and the reindeer. It's not the elf on the shelf. 
It's Jesus Christ. It's when we're celebrating his birth, the greatest gift that man has ever had. Don't forget to thank him for your blessings and for him coming into the world and robing himself in flesh and dying on the cross for us. That's what Christmas is all about. Our salvation started with the birth of Jesus. He paid up the price for our sins. So the real reason for this season is happy birthday, Jesus. Y'all have a good week, and I will see you again in a day or two with something else good.